Welcome to Duke Schedule. I'm going to teach you how to cut this fitted senator web. All you just need to do is to watch this video till the end. Without further ado, let's go straight to the video. Fold your piece of fabric into two. All right. Then we'll cut the front piece of the fabric. Now, don't forget, we're writing on the wrong side of the fabric. So when folding, ensure you fold your fabric to the wrong side. That's where you'll be doing your chunking on. Right, the chest measurement we're considering is chest 42, 42 inch. Having measured the chest of your client, it is 42 inch. Then, since we are considering the front piece of the fabric, we divide our chest measurement by 4. 42 divided by 4. Once you divide it, it will give you 10 and a half. Okay, all you just need to do, bring out your tape and you measure 10 and a half. Okay, measure 10 and a half. Now, we are not just cutting 10 and a half. We have to add allowance to it. And the allowance we are considering here is two and a half two and a half allowance okay two and a half allowance that's what we're considering here and so if we do that two and a half allowance okay, to ten um, and a half allowance we'll get um, 13 okay 13 inch will be a measurement so let your front the width of the front piece of um, you, the fabric you want to cut let it be 13 inch all right now the length we are considering is length 31 considering length 31 then we'll add two inch allowance to it add two inch allowance to the length of the fabric make sure you mark it okay mark it in various places and you use your ruler to indicate that point as seen in the video All right, so make sure the upper part of your fabric is equal to the down part. It's reading 13, all right? It should be equal so that it will give you a perfect outfit after cutting. So all you just need to do is take up your scissors and cut it out. Right, we are through cutting the front piece of uh, our senator wear. All you just need to do, the other part fold it, fold the other part into two. We are about to cut the back piece, okay, the back piece of uh, our senator wear. Please do not forget, if this video has been of a help to you, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, you are new to my channel, click on subscribe and share this link with your friends and family on social media. All right, you place the front piece of uh, your uh, uh, senator wear on top of the back piece and then same width, the same width to the back and the difference between the front piece and the back piece is 4 inch. Note, difference between the front piece and back piece of your uh, senator wear is four inch the back is usually four inch longer than the front inch the back is four inch longer than the back inch okay if you're confused please go over the video again and you will understand okay and so after placing it equal width they must have equal width and there is a um, four inch difference between the front piece and the back piece then human shoulder is not straight it's slant and so from um, that part we measure three inch three inch and then take your ruler and slant it to the upper part as seen in the video so take your scissors and cut off that slant part cut it out don't forget we're cutting both the front and the back piece they are both slanted 
haven't done that all we just need to do is um, you drag the front piece of your fabric drag it down so that the bottom part of your back piece will be at same level with the front uh, down part of your front piece at seen here as you can see i'm measuring it the difference is still four inch okay all we just need to do is the remaining part of that four inch fold it okay fold it to meet with the front inch you know i indicated it b as the back f is the front piece okay so fold it and uh, leaving it a half inch okay if you are a beginner all you just need to do is to indicate the half inch in the front piece just indicate half inch all through indicate as seen in the video and then place the back okay place it on top touching the line of um, the front piece the half that you just okay after folding this way to make the back stay okay this way all you just need is to put your pressing iron put your pressing iron in iron it okay that's seen just iron it for tutorial sake i will not be able to iron it <clears throat> right you can place something on top of it if you do not have iron while practicing right we'll consider the neck now the neck of my client is neck 17 okay neck 17 and so what i'm going to do is the upper part i'm going to from the upper part as measured there right i'm going to measure four and a half inch don't forget four and a half inch is what i measured by two inch okay four and a half inch by two inch for those that are just starting okay those that are just new to it please make use of two inch all right there's a reason why so that you don't actually cut more than two inch when you're folding um turning your neck the neck piece when you're turning it inside use half inch to sew okay you will get it right all right so you roll it up roll it up as seen in the video roll it up and then you draw a curve Okay, you draw a curve just as seen in the video. You draw a curve as seen in the video. Just watch. All right, the next thing is you take your tip and measure round. Okay, as you see me do just follow the video keenly follow the lines that you draw the curve that you draw follow it okay this read eight and a half eight and a half which means 17 that's what I'm actually looking for the roundness of my client's neck it's 17 okay so this is the perfect neck i need all i just need to do is i'll take the front part of my front piece take the front front part please only the front do not cut the back that's the front i'm holding the front only okay and then you can see is the front part only you can see the back i did not cut the back the back is still there okay so be careful just raise the front part a bit and you cut as you can see me doing there okay cut and um, take the back part now and cut the upper part of the back part please as you have seen okay after cutting this is what you have okay don't forget i did not cut that part of the front i did not cut to the back okay you can see it's still intact we can see it after the opening of the neck it's in there so be careful while doing that all right and so if your curve is not done correctly you can actually do your measurement again and draw your curve okay what we are looking for we've 
gotten it all right so the next step is the shoulder all right the shoulder of my client that's what we're about to measure all right we are considering my client's um, um, shoulder it's 17 and a half is the shoulder measurement of my client if you divide it into two you have eight three quarter eight three quarter and then you add half inch allowance we are giving half inch allowance to it and so the result will be nine one quarter nine one quarter as marked there okay nine one quarter please do not forget we are dividing it by two now the same nine one quarter take it down a bit and you mark take up your ruler we're about to cut out the uh, arm circle to produce the arm circle all right and then what we do in uh to get our arm circle is to divide our shoulder measurement by two okay our shoulder measurement we said 17 and a half and that's our shoulder measurement divided the uh, by two it will give us eight three quarter all right eight three quarter will be considering eight three quarter but here we will have to minus one from it a three quarter minus one all right a three quarter minus one all right and then you rule it down Okay, eight three quarter minus one, roll it down. And our chest measurement, when we divided it by four, gave us um, ten and half. Ten and half. Okay. Don't forget we added the two and a half uh, um, allowance. Okay, two and a half allowance. And then for me, I'll add one allowance as um the one inch as an allowance because of um, um you that is starting you that is new to it for me i can use i use for me i use half inch okay as my allowance but because you are new to it i'll tell you to use one inch should in case your measurements were not correct for men we don't allow we don't give much allowance all right and so what you measure there you also measure downward i measured 15 downward by marking and now i'll measure the same thing okay and then i'll add um half inch to it and i'll mark it there so when cutting from that half inch i'll connect it with that okay connect what you have at your chest measurement down to the hem okay that's the hemming part i'll connect it all right and so all you just need to do is take up your, your scissors and cut the line then for our um, arm circle all right i'll just put my um pattern the uh, arm circle pattern there and i'll draft it i just chalk it the way i see that and chalk it okay place it correctly and chalk all right so that's what i'll do just take up your scissors and cut as seen in the video Right. the arm circle of your front front piece of uh, your senator is usually deeper in terms of um, the chest part deeper than normal and so the difference is half inch okay make sure it's half inch depending on the size of the person all right
for watching our videos all right hope to see you in our next video all right bye, -bye.